I have played GTA 5 and GTA Online for the better part of a decade now. But now, I'm retiring. At least until GTA 6 comes out. So in the meantime, I'm starting over with a new account to help new, returning, and veterans of GTA 5 to get started, share some tips and tricks, and enjoy playing GTA Online. So without further delay, join me as I begin my last play before GTA 6. So here we go, it looks like we're part of a heist at the start of all of this. And we make four million dollars out of this, this is pretty cool. Apparently we get it in jail and we have to invest three million of it through the, through the career builder that we're gonna see in a moment. Congratulations, four million dollars, that's pretty cool. So this is the important part that I want to go over quite a bit before we get really get started into doing this. And this is going to be important because through, throughout this series, I want to have a through goal. And that is to build our daily money grind. We ref will refine it every, every episode. We will build upon it as we acquire businesses and everything. But to start out, I'm gonna give you my opinion on which career is the best one to really kickstart everything off. So I actually crunched the numbers on these. Uh, you know, I don't wanna sound like I'm talking out my ass, but I crunched the numbers and here's what I got from it. Let's start with um, biker business. So, you got to upgrade the biker business completely. You got to spend $75,000 on supplies. It only makes 157K in product. And you get 82, 82K in profit. To do this, it takes two hours and you're actually having to either pay for supplies, go gather supplies, bring it to the businesses or whatever. And really, um, I've actually chosen only the uh, uh, Coke lockup as an example, because that's the best biz best MC business under the MC biker selection. And that really just equates to, after two hours, only $683 per minute. And that's just, you know, starting off. So let's look at another business. Or another career path actually so being a gun runner is actually better you spend again 75k in supplies it makes 250k in product which is more and a total of 135k a profit it takes two hours 20 minutes for this however you get 964 dollars per minute which is quite good and um it's definitely a viable business if you're starting out with this career builder to do. Uh, upgrades do cost a pretty penny. I mean, we want to kind of have some sort of uh, money left over after this, but uh, upgrades are good. And this is definitely a viable option to choose for a career. So let's talk about nightclub owner. With the nightclub owner, however, you don't have to get upgrades. There are no supplies when you start out. There are no cell missions. That comes later. You get 50K in profit from popularity. And you, all you got to do is keep that up, which is quite simple. And I'm going to show you in this video, actually. And it only takes 48 minutes. That equates to $1,042 per minute. So... I think I made my choice and we are going to go with the nightclub owner as our selection for this. Oh my goodness. I hear you guys already. Mr. Bix, Mr. Bix, what about, what about the executive career path? What about the CEO crates? 
CO crates is actually very comparable to the bunker. However, there are many different avenues you can take. The, uh, you do have excess mixed goods, like with the bunker, you have excess gun parts. But for both, there is a high amount of you having to do something. You have an active role in those businesses. And the funding you need to really invest into it is quite a lot. The nightclub, however, to get it up and running and get going with the 50K every 48 minutes is basically nil. You just set it up, you're going, and you have that passive income every 48 minutes. So that's kind of why. Now, CEO, when we get to there later on, it is actually a very good business. And when we get there, I'll show you. But for now, we're going to go with the, in my opinion, the best choice, the only choice, which would be the nightclub owner. And let's look at all the selections. So we got to choose our nightclub. We got to choose an upgrade, some vehicles, weapons, and we got to spend that $3 million. So there's several different locations you can choose from. The ones in Vinewood are pretty good. Vespucci Beach looks really nice on the outside. But for this, we're going to go with the Mission Row. And the Mission Row is by far the best location for your, the nightclub. It's really placed in the center of the city. You're, when you eventually get to doing the sail missions, you're not having to go so far. And, and later on in this video, I'll show you another reason why this location is the best. It's like a little unknown tip. So for the upgrades, I mean, there are several different ones. You could probably choose something for the interior. It's mostly cosmetic. Uh, there is a few upgrades that do help maintain the nightclub. And for this one, we are going to choose just the Omega, which gives us a staff upgrade, which is going to help keep our popularity high. Very simple. So for our vehicles, uh, there really is only one choice to go with. But uh, I do want to take a look through and give you guys some other tips about maybe maybe you want to go a different route. Um, let's see here. Let's go through. All right, we got the Hatu Hakuchu Drag. Now, this is very good. Like if you're into racing, this might actually be one that you want to pick up right away. Um, through the course of the game, you do get a free HSW upgrade, and this is one of the vehicles that can be upgraded. And this is going to be great for time trials. The terabyte is also a good thing to buy, but not right now. Later on for the terabyte, it gives you some extra missions that you can do. And it enables you to get a trade price on a certain vehicle that helps you quote unquote grind. But for this, we're actually going to go with the armor Kuruma. This is going to help us out with a lot of the missions that we're going to do early on. It's going to protect us from NPC fire. So we're going to choose that. Uh, for weapons, uh, the, the choice of weapons early on is not the best. But uh, I'm going to pick the ones that you're just going to kind of need. The special carbine is probably the OG best gun you could have it's so versatile um we need let's see let's see let's see let's see um hmm we need a machine pistol we need one gun that we can shoot out of a car um let's grab the 50 millimeter gun we need a knife but this knife is no good um Let's see what else we can get.
All right, the grenade launcher can come in handy later on. I think that's going to be all the weapons that we're going to pick for this initial career builder. Yeah, okay, so summary. Oh, we still need to spend... Still need to spend a couple thousand dollars. Huh. Okay, let's so uh, let's take a look again. Let's look at let's look at vehicles. What else what other vehicle could we purchase? The pounder custom. Okay, that's a right at the amount that we need to to spend. Night Shark would be good, but it's too expensive. And of course, the Hakuchu Drag is right at a million dollars. So I want I want to have at least about a million dollars in my bank. So we're gonna go with the Pounder Custom. This is actually gonna help with sale missions for the nightclub later on. And i think that will be it folks all right let's start our first career and get going all right now we need to create our character go make your character come back because i want to talk about the stats at the end because there's a couple of little things i want to say about that now for the stats you really kind of just want to have stamina stamina is a big one it's going to help early on there's a couple other time trials that we need stamina for, so it's really going to help. Um, driving, flying, you're going to accumulate just by playing the game. Um, strength is another one. You might want to boost your strength because that takes a while to max out. And shooting. Shooting helps a little bit early on to have uh, just a little bit, but as you play, it gonna, it's going to go up. So really, stamina, shooting, strength. We kind of want to do the best that we can. The best that the game allows us to put in these stats. All right, we're all set. All right, we're going to get our mug shot. And look at that smile. Ooh, what an ugly mug. All right, we're in. We're exiting the precinct. Yes, you'll see me soon, I'm sure. All right, here we are in Los Santos. New character, new game, new year. I actually think this is going to be the fifth or sixth time I've started over now. That first iteration I got not too far on because I got a brand new uh, Xbox and I moved into the newer generation at the time. So I started over then and then I got to a level 1000 up until PS5 came out. And um, I started over when PS5 came out. I, didn't, I never migrated anything over. And I've actually started over on PS5 at least two more times. I think I've gotten to like level 500 on each and this should be the fifth or sixth time that I've actually started over. So we're going to call in our armor chroma from our mechanic and get started. We also got a text from Lamar Davis saying he stashed our weapons in Davis. You know, Lamar, we go way back. We'd be cool. So let's head over to Davis and gather our weapons that we chose from the career builder. All right, we're pulling up. We're pulling up. Okay, well, we got some unsavories near us. I wonder why Lamar would stash it all the way over here. Oh, let's let's just put it in gang territory. Why don't we? Why don't we? Okay. 
So we got that. We actually got a career achievement too for that. Our weapon wheel, we get our special carbine. Uh, and these guys want to mess with us. Merc them out, merc them out, take them out. Stay down, sir. And run to the crew. Uh, I'm actually hoping someone comes after us because I wanna I wanna show off the Karuma to people who don't know. But uh this number one, this car in free mode against other players is not good. It only can take one uh rocket blast, grenade, whatever, and blows up. But against NPCs, this is probably the best car. It is definitely bullet resistant. It is not bulletproof. NPCs can sh still shoot you, but it takes, but it will take some damage before to actually get that shot. And if they're like really close to you, really close to the car, they'll get get a shot on you. But as you can see, we're taking no damage for this, no damage from the NPC fire. And oh, I see you there. Bye. All right, so I showed you that. We took care. Of we took care of some unsavory gang members and we should be getting another text pretty soon here i would imagine Hello. Hi. no yep there it is we got a text from tony to go to the nightclub and set it up and everything and meet him so let's head over there all right so this is our nightclub and this is the front entrance and I'm gonna show you one reason why I've picked this location and that is for the wide alley in the back this is really good if we are picking up goods selling goods or running away from griefers it's also got high buildings and very good cover so now that we've gone in we're just gonna start a cut scene and we're gonna meet the first of a couple characters for this nightclub we got laszlo which is laszlo's from uh single player and actually laszlo's been in the gta series since uh gta 3. he's always been like on the radio chat a chatterbox i think it was called so he's been in gta 3 vice city GTA 4, San Andreas, all, but all that was like voice, but uh, in GTA 5 he was actually a character, how about that? And of course uh, there's the man himself, Tony Prince, actually uh, I remember playing the Ballard Gay Tony, that was a good one actually, although I kind of enjoyed the biker one better. So Tony's gonna show us around, give us a whole deal on uh, what's going on with the nightclub, what goes above stairs, what goes downstairs, and pretty much a general overview of how it's gonna work. I don't want to spoil too much, you guys can go through the cutscene. And there's the first annoying character of GTA Online that we're introduced. Of course, it's English Jave. While he is annoying, he's not as annoying as some. And we got their contacts now. They're going to give us like jobs to do to keep popularity up and so on and so forth. But uh, we're going to head over to the v VIP area in our office. And we're going to actually start up the setup missions for the nightclub. I think the first mission is to set up the staff. Uh, all the missions are quite easy, but uh, let's get into it. All right, let's sit down and start this up. Okay, set up staff. Get our call from okay, Tony we and we'll get ready and get order. off with this. So the first one we're gonna pick up is Johan. Johan is gonna actually run like the bottom side of the business and we can call him to source goods and stuff. I didn't know Hello. Johan was part of the biker gang or had contacts with biker gangs. I actually, actually come to think of it, that makes more sense. Okay, what's up, Johan? All right, we're in. Let's do, what the? Dude, scratching my car. 
Uh, oh, you should be so glad Tony just called. I would have knocked you out. All right, next one up is Connie, the bartender or head bartender. So we got to pick her up. I love the uh, GTA 4 horn on this car. So awesome. All right, lady, hurry up. Get in the car. We need to get off to the next one. And our last pickup is going to be Marcel. Marcel is like the bodyguard, runs security and stuff. He's actually going to help keep the popularity up much better because we're going to do like many jobs for him that are super quick, super easy. We get 10 grand for the popularity. And there we are. We are back. Wow. And look at that. We ranked up all the way to rank five. So level one to level five for just doing one setup mission. I need to take a quick detour. I need to get rid of these gnarly jeans and shirt. There we go. The Mr. Biggs uniform. We just got a notification that we have a high-end apartment, a penumbra in our garage, and a text message from Lester about getting some work. So let's head over to the apartment and I will show you guys the whole apartment right quick. So we're at the apartment now. Pretty simple, pretty nice. Um, this is going to be where we launch like the original heists. Now we're actually in public free mode. So we're going to move to an invite only session and we're going to work from an invite only session for at least a good amount of time because we don't want to be totally blasted away every five seconds by people griefing us. So moving to the invite only session. There we go. And we're going to make another quick pit stop to the gun store. And I'm going to pick up a few items that I believe we need to get. I mean, we only have a few items right now in our wheel. Let's see what we can afford now that we're level five. All righty, we're going to... We're going to stack up on some body armor very quick. Uh, let's go over to the counter. Oh, that one is so much fun when you've been drinking. Um, no, we can't have the AP pistol yet. That stinks. You watch that Republican Space Rangers? I love let's that Let's grab show. the heavy revolver. That's going to come in handy a little later on for contact missions. When we get there, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there's a 50 millimeter, and I want to put a suppressor and an extended clip on this. And this is actually going to become kind of our like our stealth gun for right now. Uh, what else can we buy? All right, I think we can get a knife. Let's get the basic knife. It's kind of useless, but. Let's buy it. Um, let's get the micro SMG because it's just better for drive bys and stuff like that. And let's let's uh, uh, let's skip out on that extra stuff right now. Precision rifle. That's a terrible weapon. Can't get the heavy sniper yet. That sucks. Um, Homing launcher, let's pick up one of those. What else? What else do we need? Um, where's the salt shotgun was available? Not available yet. Um, I think that's gonna be it. We have the we have the special carbine though. You Bunch of like unlocks we don't have yet. Best time to make Throw bulls. We're gonna stack up on grenades. And 
Gonna stack up on some sticky bombs. Anything else over here? Jerry can not available. Um, I think I that is going to, to be it. All right, cool. Door. And more career progress. All right, awesome. Uh, let's see over here for gear. For gear, I think we're going to. We're going to pick up some rebreathers and I am going to complete my look. Awesome. All right, so here you go. Here's how you equip and unequip rebreathers. Just go to appearance, accessories, and thumb through the options and select what you want. And I have my uniform here, so I am going to go ahead, go ahead and uh, save my look. And there we go. And that's that. So let's head back over to the nightclub and wrap that up. So we're back in the nightclub. And we're going to head straight to the computer and get started. Oh, there's something on the desk here. Okay, cool. Got a little uh, collectible there for now. Okay, let's get back to this computer. So the next setup, I think, is the equipment. So the next setup is the equipment. And really, all we're doing here is we're going to drive out to a okay, festival get out into the desert like i said we need to borrow some equipment and from this festival ritual sacrifice i think we're gonna drive a bus or something dorks, back DJs or remember, right? preppers, probably all of the above i know it's a long a way this is a really system. simple mission but look at this look how far away already all right we're pulling up here i don't know if you guys can hear the music I doubt, I doubt it with the recording. Copyright, no. So we're pulling up. All right, let's park it here. And we're stealing this uh, converted school bus with speakers and all this. What's up, everybody? Enjoying yourselves? Dancing around, bunch of hippies. Awesome. All righty. All right, so you didn't make your payment on this. I am taking this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I got to push my own car out of the way. Just to get down. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're all good. We're good. All right, let's just get... Uh, 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 uh. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. All right, let's just get to the road. Let's just get to the road and let's just get out of here. I'm actually really liking this skull on 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 this equipment. Uh, alrighty, well, hopefully Tony didn't need that. Man, this, this mission takes a long time. All right, so we're back, and we're just gonna pull into the cone here. And there we go, mission done. All right. All right. And now we got another cutscene. Oh, oh look, Omega! Our nightclub is so awesome. Oh. And there's these goofs. Oh, Being That's Zen or something. And we actually, the cutscenes just lead straight up into the final setup mission, which is to get the DJ. And for this, we're actually going to get a DJ called Solomon. All right, so we got to pick up Solomon. So we got to drive all the way to I L S I A. 
Alright, we're here. And something's happened. Something's trouble. Dude missed the runway and the pilot's all wackadoo. Well, here's your problem. Those uh, screens are off, Solomon. Your INAVs are off. So the mission continues. It's pretty easy. We just follow the plane all the way out to the Sandy Shores airfield. And you can just go straight there. You don't have to worry about following the plane too much. And we're here. Another cutscene, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, English Dave, you're so awesome, great and everything. Okay, let's head back to the nightclub. And we're here. Solomon takes the stage. We have another cutscene. Everything's good. And look at that. Marcel texts us. There's a troublemaker. And this is actually what I was mentioning about Marcel earlier. Is like he'll send us texts that there's troublemakers or VIPs. And we just gotta like either drive them back or this one's really easy. We just gotta kick them out, throw them out. And that increases our popularity and we get 10 grand from it. So that's done. We ranked up again. So let's head to the office and uh, wrap up this video. So we're in the office, behind me is the safe. And as I said in the intro, that collects $50,000 of the popularity is all the way up every 48 minutes. And that's why the nightclub owner is the best to start out with. So I'm gonna try to release a couple of videos every week. We're gonna have this common thread of building our empire inside GTA Online. We're also going to have some fun. We're going to throw in some different different uh, luxury items as well that we can have fun with. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Click the dislike if you didn't, but always be sure to subscribe and click the bell for future videos. Thanks for joining me and I am out.